to grow your email list. So now you know you have to have them, but how in the devil do you grow them? So let's knock this out so that you can start building those lists. Okay, the first hint, the biggest hint I'm going to give you is never ask for more than a name and an email. When you start growing your email list, if you're gonna start asking them for their phone number and their address or their date of birth, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. It's like when you go out on a first date, like you're just trying to get to know a little bit, right? If you start asking them how many kids they want when they are 30, you know what I mean? Like it just, like don't go so deep that it violates them. Same thing with email, just go slow and steady wins the race and just ask them for little bits. There's been times where all I've done is ask them for an email, haven't even asked them for a name. So little asks, that's what you're trying to go for at this point. Okay, next thing, don't stop or give up, they take time. When I have built all my email lists, guess where I started? Zero. When I started How Does She? Zero. When I started Pick Your Plum, I couldn't use How Does She's email list. Like it just didn't work like that. And so I had to start Pick Your Plum at zero. When I started Pillows, where did it start? Zero. When I started zero to 100K, I had to start at zero. So don't give up. They take time, but they are absolutely 100% worth their weight if they could weigh anything in gold. They're magic. Okay, number one, this one is tiny, but it is very, very impactful. The opt-in link in your email signature set this up so have it say your name like mine would be allison prince allison j prince and then when i was uh, emailing from the pick your plum account i would put in a link to where they could get to pick your plum always have a link in there when you're emailing someone because you've got a more intimate a touch at that point like they're in your inbox or you're in their inbox they want to know a little bit more about you and if you can prepare them and have a link for them say hey go sign up for my free blah 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 or go sign up to check out my site I know it's little but those little ones are so incredibly powerful because you've already made some type of a connection with them so all you have to do is go to your Google settings and there's this little gear in the up upper right hand corner for you to be able to change your email signature super easy if you get stuck there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to do it all right number two add a discount on your page it's very I know very obvious but adding a discount on your page can help increase those email signups here's the funny thing though a lot of people will skip this a lot of people totally bypass this. They see it and they're like, oh, okay. And then they'll go, they'll check out and they'll actually forget to use it. So <laughs> put it on there, but it doesn't always get used. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> okay, another one is a pop-up box. Now, Google, if, if you have it pop up right away, you're going to get penalized from Google. In other words, Google doesn't like it. So make sure it's delayed five to 10 seconds. So it's like when you go to someone's house and you're trying to walk through the door and they're like handing you all this stuff and you're like, here this, here this, here this. Let them come in, have a seat, and take off their shoes, whatever, right? And then you can start getting into things. It's the same thing with a website. Let them get a little bit comfortable and then you can start throwing stuff at them. Another thing that's been super powerful too is an exit pop-up box. So when they come up here to click out of the site, the pop-up box um, will pop up and hey, I wanna offer you 10% before you go. That is also pretty effective too. All right, next thing, add a freemium. My freemiums have done amazing. When I'm giving value, people are willing to give me their email address. So with Pick Your Plum, uh, this one right here is how does she's, but we've done it with like almost all of my sites. One of the things we did with Pick Your Plum, because that was e-commerce, is we gave away our very first one, I believe was a 4th of July little straw celebration things. Like it was tiny, you guys. It was one sheet of paper, like an eight by 10, and it had 10 little designs of 
a way to celebrate the 4th of July better. Like it was just tiny. <laughs> and I gave it to my customers and my almost customers and we converted and got a great big jump in email uh, subscribers. Now if you're like, wait, how do I make a printable? How's that even possible, Allison? Go to Fiverr or Etsy and they can make them for you pretty darn cheap. Other things we've done are Thanksgiving banners, we've done Halloween banners, things like that that people can use and consume and it makes their life easier. Now in e-commerce, you can do ways to clean your jewelry organically if you're a jeweler store or if you are selling kids clothing a list of how to get stains out of your kids clothes because if you have kids you know stains and they drive you nuts so what you're doing is you're adding value to your product to your customers so that they will give you their email address all right next one okay if you're like wait allison I want to do a pop-up box. I want to do a discount on my page. I want to do a freemium. How do I do it? Click funnels or Mailchimp. That's it. Click funnels allows you to do that. You can send people your freemiums. Mailchimp allows you to do that and you integrate it with Shopify. Like it it's the two that I talked about earlier. You don't need to go get new technology. It's just right there ready for you, waiting for you. Number four, upon checkout, pre-select the sign-up option. Now, this is so simple. <laughs> I didn't realize this uh, for about a year. I think it was about a year before I figured it out on my pillows site. So when people go through your checkout process, you want to pre-select the sign-up option. So you know when you're checking out, you put your name in, you put your address in, and your email address in, there's usually a little box underneath that that says, hey, would you like to sign up for our email list? You want to make sure that that's pre-selected because then it automatically puts them in your email list. If you don't have it checked and they have to check on it, your email signup rate is going to fall drastically, drastically, drastically. Now, in the Shopify section, I walk you through this step by step. So if you are like, what is that? In the Shopify section, I show you how to do this step by step. If you're already in there and you're already familiar with it, just go in to your settings, click checkout, scroll down to email marketing, and click the little pre-select box right there. Like that will help you grow your email list faster than just about anything out there. And then in ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels takes a little bit more, so that's why I have the step-by-step -step down below. But like I said, go back, double check that you have pre-selected that sign up option. Number five, link your social to your freemium. So here's a screenshot of Instagram right here. And you can see I've got a little hand pointing down to my freemium. My freemium here is to show people how my girl sold the $100,000. Now, the in e-commerce, you could say, hey, go get my cleaning organic-ness email or my list of how to clean your jewelry organically, right? With how does she, we did free printables. So whatever you're giving away for free, you wanna make sure that you're putting it in your social profiles because people like to click on those and they find out a lot more about you. All right, number six, this is pretty magical. Pin a post to your Facebook, directing them to your goal. So if you have a Facebook post, you can actually pin it to the top of your feed. So anytime someone comes and finds you, they're gonna see this post first. What do you want them to do? You could say, hey, go sign up and get my free printable over here. Or here's a 10% off coupon, go get started on your first order. But use that pin spot to tell them where to go. You wanna get them off Facebook and into your store. And you can do that by pinning that post directly to um, your Facebook feed. Now, when I first started, this was a little while ago, this is my pin post. Look how, like, this picture was my very first one. 
<laughs> when I started my Facebook page. Uh, so right here, check out the becauseitcanclan.com. Right now, I don't use that URL anymore, right? But in the beginning, I did, and that's where I wanted people to go to. And so I was very specific uh, and let them know what that I wanted them to do. Number seven is a call to action on your Facebook page. Get that, don't, like, this will stay empty or say, stay something stupid. Have it go to shop now or sign up or learn more. Use this blue space as amazing real estate because people come to your Facebook page, you need to let them know what you want them to do. So right here, shop now or sign up or whatever, but use this actively because it will really make a difference. Mini chat, boom, boom, boom. The drum rolls can start. Mini chat is a newer technology. And we did a, a master class, not a master class. We did, we brought in an expert in the bonus section. So in the bonus section of the zero to 100K, you're gonna find a gal named Mary Catherine. And she walked us through mini chat. These are Facebook bots. Remember how um, I said that emails are getting about a 20% open rate on out, like that's a good open rate, uh, 10, and 10, you're sitting like kind of pushing it to something's wrong, right? So anything above 10, but the average is, I think it's closer to 20%. Many chat will allow you to start talking to your customers and many chats are getting 80 to 90% open rate. And in that, you can start asking them for their email address. So you can get them on many chat with the Facebook bot or and you can get them in your email list too. So you're basically knocking out two stones at once. But go down and check out that section with Mary Catherine for mini chat. All right, next thing, uh, giveaway. Giveaways can help grow your email list quickly. I like to use an app or a site called Gleam, G-L-E-A-M dot I-O. They have a free version. Yay for free versions, right? Now, when you do a giveaway, there's some things that are just a little FYI with giveaways. If you give something away that's really cool, like a Mac computer or a big camera, you're going to have a lot of people sign up, and then when the giveaway's over, you're going to have a lot of people unsubscribe. It's still worth it because usually you have a lot more people stick around with you. Now, if you give away something that's in line with your brand or your product, you're gonna have less people that sign up, but you're gonna have less people that fall off because they wanted something that you are giving away that's specific to you and your brand versus a whole big general population. So giving products away that have to do with your brand and your niche, I think is a much stronger giveaway. And I learned that over time, but it is giveaway products that represent you because then you will pull your avatar, your dream client into your world even faster. Now when you do a giveaway, don't ask them to do 15,000 things. Only ask them to do a couple, okay? Like this guy's got three ways to enter. Newsletter, Twitter, watch our video release, whatever it is, right? Just don't overwhelm them. Just give them quick, fast things to do. And then another way that really works is if you work with others. So let's say you do a giveaway, but you work with others, everybody gets one way to enter. So mine, let's say I want for them to join a newsletter. Let's say I'm working with you and you're like, hey, I want them to like a picture on Instagram and then it would go here and then we get someone else. So then we have like six or seven uh, shops or businesses all get together and then you can advertise with each other and then grow together. And that's my preferred way to do giveaways as you do it with others. Okay, so there's a list of 10. Now if you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's so much to do, get that out of your head. You're going to start with number, where'd it go? Number one, that's it. And when you're done with that, then you're gonna do number two. And then when you're done with that, then you're gonna do number three. One thing at a time, you guys, one step at a time. It doesn't have to all be done tonight, but it needs to, you need to be moving forward with this stuff. Okay, the next section, I'm gonna be talking about how to get your email, your emails to open up even bigger.